guys, my name is Jazz and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I discuss everything fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today, I'm super excited. I have a video of all the fashion trends that I'm excited about for 2022. Um, I'm just excited about this year. I'm just hoping for positivity. Maybe the pandemic will end. We'll see <laughs> where we are, but more excited. I'm more excited about the fashion, of course. So let's get right into some of my favorite trends. I'm gonna show you the ones that I particularly am interested in. And there's a few that I'm just like, I don't know, like I'm not into it. But first, let's get into what I'm interested in. So number one, puffer coats are trending for 2022. Of course, if you live anywhere in the Northeast, you can get a wear, a great wear out of a puffer coat. Like literally, they're everywhere from Prada um, down to fast fashion sites, down to the high street from Pretty Little Thing. Um, this Prada coat is like super cute. Um, but even the Yeezus kind of Yeezus, Yeezy <laughs> slash Gap collaboration with this blue puffer coat Puffers are all everywhere. They're perfect. They're functional. I think honestly, like just after the pandemic and just us like sitting home, everything I feel like fashion wise, it's really just about comfort comfortability. Like I want to be comfortable. I want to be warm and being functional. I feel like I haven't been seeing so much of things that are just like, who's wearing that? Even though there are things I'm going to share that are really like that, but puffer coats for sure. I have one um, from Target that I love, the pink Wild from Wild Fable. It's not available anymore, but it's pink. It's loud. It's fun. Um, I've been actually thinking about because even though I say puffer coats, puffer vests have really been trending too, and I haven't worn like a vest in like years. Like I used to have this Michael Kors like furry vest in college, and I don't care what the temperature was, I was like layering it up and just putting anything on with it. So I definitely want to get back into a puffer vest. Even though sometimes vests are tricky because like, am, are you cold? Are you warm? Like, what are you doing? But I've been seeing like really cute ones. They have this really cute one from H&M that's kind of like a wrap um, puffer quilted vest that you kind of tie, which is cute. And I've even seen some on Misguided that kind of has that cushiony like feel. I just think it's really cute and I feel like it's good for those like 30 to 40 degree days, not the 11 and, and below that we've been experience, experiencing in New York. But otherwise, I really love this trend. I think it's great to be comfortable. And I also have a video on the way showing you how to wear puffer coats. Because I think sometimes with puffer coats or even puffer vests, you think you have to be really casual. But you can dress them up. There's ways to dress them up. So I definitely want to show you guys that. So stay tuned. But next um, trend that I want to talk about is um, denim. So if you guys haven't seen my video on the perfect denim trends to try, um, I'll link that video here in the cards. But, you know, it's all been like talk, like, oh, skinny jeans are out. And yes, I do wear skinny jeans. I wear skinny jeans because, especially in the winter, because they go along with boots. But for 2022 and like just for spring and summer, we're seeing more comfortable fits, like the baggy style. Um, I have these pair of jeans I'm going to show you guys that I got from Pretty Little Thing. They are amazing Margiela dupes. But we're seeing more um, loose fits. We're seeing more wide leg. We're seeing more flare jeans. Definitely more slouchy jeans, um, which are really popular. I have a pair, like a few pairs of those, but definitely being the oversized baggy fit. Um, I feel like it looks cuter. It's comfortable. Like even these that I have on today, I'm like, I can breathe, I can, I feel super comfortable, but I still look fashionable and cute and cool. So definitely seeing more of those on the runway and trending in general. So this trend was definitely something that was around last year and it's still this year and I love it, is cutouts. Now, cutouts are like perfect because even if you don't want to show, like have cutouts, of course, like I'm working on my summer body, we all are, <laughs> but where you have cutouts on the sides of things where you might not want to do, I feel like everybody can kind of get into this trend because just because it's cut out doesn't mean it has to be showing your abdomen. It could be just cut out on the chest. It could be like a slither here, a slither on your arm. I just think it's really cool to kind of catch an eye on a piece that you're wearing without doing the most but I feel like I've been seeing more cutouts lately just in everything like even cut out jeans like these jeans are super cute for misguided that I love and they're cut out at the hips um which is like a super cute trend and like actually add some more fun to your denim but definitely seeing this more so with dresses um all on the runways and just kind of like in tops Anywhere you can put a cutout, even cutout skirts, anything that has a cutout is super popular for um, 2022. And then next, I love this trend and I feel like I've been onto it with a few pieces I have, so I'm glad I'm kind of like on the right track, but it's fringe. Um, so you guys know I love these boots that I got um, 
from Jeffrey Campbell. Of course, I believe D Squared made like the original. These are pretty much like the dupe. But Fringe on Your Boots obviously are a great way to kind of get into this trend. But more so, I've been seeing Fringe like on dresses, like on shirts and um, things like that. There is this dress. Um, from Parenza Schuler. Like, sometimes, like, I go on, like, net -a portier and just kind of, like, browse. You know, it's like giving myself affirmation of things that I'll be able to browse the site one day and just order whatever I want. But there's this Parenza Schuler fringe dress. It comes in red and it comes in white. And, like, this dress, it's fringe on the bottom. It's just, like, literally, like, imagine, like, walking with this dress. Like, and, like, the fringe is just, like, swaying in the wind. Like this dress is so beautiful. So seeing this dress, there is a dress that I want um, for my birthday specifically that I want to wear that I didn't order and it sold out so quick from Hanifa. If you guys are not familiar with Hanifa, Hanifa is a black owned business, a black owned brand, fashion brand. Um, they had their first like runway collection this year and this fringe, like look at this dress. You cannot tell me on my birthday in the summer that wearing this won't be like a highlight of my 35th birthday. Like, I put myself on the notification list because I want this, but as you can see, it has the fringe. So definitely seeing fringe more so in our apparel rather than just in boots. And I also seen it in coats. Of course, you guys know I have, I uh, All Saints has the coat that I wanted, but I have a gray um, dupe from, where is it, Kenneth Cole that has like fringes on the sleeves, fringes on the back. So I love it more so in my accessories, but like seeing it on these dresses for the, the season, I'm just like... Like, I'm like dying. Like, when I saw that Hanifa dress, I was like, oh my God, like, I need to have it. So, as soon as that comes back, hopefully that will be the birthday dress. But that and the Parenza Schuler, I'm like, oh my God. So, one of the next fashion trends for 2022 that I'm excited about is oversized blazers and oversized suiting. I feel like I cannot get this trend. Like, I, I can't find the perfect pieces to put together the perfect kind of like Tracy Ellis Ross like inspired suit. It's one of my goals in life to get like a really great suit but I don't want it to be a tailor fit. I kind of want it to be that cool like oversized fit that she does but this is something that is definitely trending um, for 2022. Um, I just ordered another hourglass blazer from the Frankie shop that's gonna I got it oversized this time so I'm excited about that but just kind of oversized blazers oversized suiting but obviously having it be tailored so you know you can look like Tracy Ellis Ross and how cool like she looks so I definitely love um, this trend um, and also like looking at these um, like oversized suiting doing them in like great colors like pops of color classic love this next trend that I'm excited about sheer um, so I feel like sheer was trending last year but it's also trending this year as well so definitely having sheer like in your tops like this is a cute top from anthropology that has like a sheer top on top or kind of just having those sheer tops of course on the runway they're like wearing sheer and like you know their nipples out and everything like that if you want to do that cool but <laughs> you can kind of like wear it over things I just ordered this dress like it's probably you probably not gonna see it for like in four months because it's just like not that time of year in the Northeast, but this dress from the open edit is like sheer and I can't wait to kind of wear it well, underneath. I can wear like a bralette or like cute shorts underneath and kind of have the sheer kind of like just be like my cover up, but it's like the perfect time to wear like the cute little things you can't wear alone, but just have that dress over it. So definitely seeing things like that um, on the runway for 2022. So the next trend that I'm excited about for 2022 is color. Um, I feel like, again, like just with the pandemic, and maybe just because in New York it's been cold. I mean, I lived in cold weather my whole life. I lived in New York my whole life and lived in the Poconos. I'm used to cold weather, but it's something about, and maybe it's the pandemic, but something about just like color now that it just makes me excited. It doesn't make me feel as like, you know, in the winter you're just kind of a little sad because weather is just cold, you can't do anything, everybody has COVID. Color is something that just kind of keeps me going. Um, I've been loving incorporating it more in my wardrobe, even in the winter, and I can't wait to keep incorporating it into the spring slash summer. But color is definitely one of the trends that is big for 2022, and I mean, Bright colors we're talking about fuchsia pink we're talking about pastels like watercolors color 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 is everywhere colors in dresses colors in coats color 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 and more color so I'm excited about that I even want to get more color coats um, all, most of my coats are like black and white black and I definitely want to get more coats and just outerwear um, and bright colors because they do make a difference I feel like even in your attitude and your spirit like just wearing a color you can't be grumpy and like pink you know
<laughs> Makes sense, right? So the next trend um, that is trending um, now, and of course it's gonna continue trending for 2022, is platform shoes. Of course, like this year, I mean last year we saw our like platform loafers kind of be a thing and just platform shoes. But of course this is still trending for next year. Um, look at these Valentino shoes, like this platform. And this orange. These shoes are the most beautiful pairs of shoes I've seen. But of course, if we're not able to do Valentino, um, I've seen um, these from Souk and Sepia are amazing. I got these last year. And these are so comfortable. I probably am gonna get like another color. Like that's how comfortable they are. Like anything in the platform is like super walkable, super easy to wear and you get so much versatility. Um, but of course, even seeing these, um, these Versace shoes um, this year that, you know, Steve Madden, like I feel like they knocked these off so quickly. <laughs> but these from Versace are of course amazing and also just kind of keeping with platform even in loafer styles and just kind of even sandals i can't wait to wear my gucci platform slides right into the summer again i'm so excited about that definitely getting my cost for wear um but next i'm going to talk about things that are trending for 2022 that I'm not so excited about. So when I was looking on runway, of course, I'm always looking around because I'm always shopping because like, it's an addiction, but I'm always shopping, just looking for style inspiration, of course. So I've been seeing like low rise stuff and I'm like, oh, okay. Like, you know what I mean? I'm thinking to myself like, okay, like I saw this super cute, um, this set from Jacquemus. I'm like, oh, that is so cute. And they're like, oh, okay, like, it comes with the polo top. I'm like, oh, that's cute. And they're like, the skirt is a low rise skirt. And I'm like, low rise like low rise like i don't know like every time i see pictures from like like college like high school with like low rise jeans i'm like oh my god that it, it was terrible like i just feel like it's not flattering on anyone and even seeing like kanye west's like new girlfriend walking around with these low cut pants i'm like what is happening i don't care what kind of body you have like long term torso or not i just feel like they're not flattering so that that's one trend that i'm seeing where i'm just like no I don't want any parts. I don't want any parts of the low rise jeans. I just don't want any parts of it. Sorry guys, like all of a sudden that this light was just like shining in my face. I'm like, oh my God. So <laughs> the next trend that I'm seeing for 2022 um, that I'm not excited about is the PVC shoe. Now, I'm not a person who hates PVC shoes. Like I feel like sometimes they serve a purpose in the summer and they can be really cute and really fun and you know, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. But I will say this, every pair of PVC shoes that I have, whether they're ones I have from Amazon with like the cute Am Amina Wadi buckle, or even like cute, like clear ones that I have from Zara that go with so many things in the summer, these shoes are never comfortable, never. And I mean, not even like, oh, you know, I walk a lot, you know, I walk a little bit and my feet hurt. No, like pinching, like pinching your feet, never comfortable, can't even get two blocks uncomfortable. They always pinch in the worst places. And like one thing that happens to me, and you guys can let me know in the comments if it happens to you, like my feet will be sweating, like sweating bullets in these types of shoes. And like, you can literally see like the fog coming from my feet. And it's just like, like that's not cute. Like that's not like a vibe, like you know what I mean? <laughs> so like, I don't want any sweaty feet or anything like that. So that is definitely like one of the trends for 2022 that I'm not excited about. So the last trend that I am kind of just like, what is going on is the mini skirt. So of course, if we were talking about regular mini skirts, we're like, okay, cute, like mini skirts, sexy, fun. But some of the mini skirts that I've seen like on the runway, like this one, I'm like, that's a belt. Like <laughs> for a regular everyday person, that is not a mini skirt. That is a piece of like, wide belts like around your thighs. So that is probably like the one that I'm not the most excited about. But everything else that I listed, I'm super excited about. I plan on incorporating in my wardrobe. It's funny because a lot of these trends, like I feel like naturally, like you already probably have already incorporated and it's just kind of like, you know, fashion is a cycle, kind of keeps going. But that is what I'm excited for 2022. Let me know what fashion trend that you're looking forward to this year. Let me know um, in the comments, have you tried any of these? Like ones you don't like, how do you feel about the PVC shoes? Am I the only one having problems with my feet sweating and fogging or like everyone I have like makes my feet hurt? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. And until next time guys, be safe and be well. Bye.